Okay, so this is just a quick video to walk you through kind of getting assets into uh, Unreal. So this is Turbo Squid. Uh, so I found some turtle assets. Uh, so I'm just applying the one to ten dollar filter. So we can see we've got quite a few models here. So you know, always go in and check your models out to make sure that they're not crap. Um, so for instance, this one is ten dollars and it's rigged. But as we can see, it's not realistic. Uh, so you know, you always want to make sure you, you're happy with this. It's pretty um, low poly, which is good. But I mean, really, you, you're going to want an animated turtle, so it's going to want to be rigged. So we can see one there that says rigged, which is a garden turtle. So this is uh, over on 3.3D, um, another site which you've got a free download there for a turtle model, which is a nice looking model, uh, fairly low poly. Um, and so I'm going to just download that and also download the baby turtle. Uh, again, this is free, but it's not rigged, unfortunately. So we'll just get hold of that. Um, so I'll just quickly show you, even though I'm sure you know, just how to get them over into. Um, so these are all rigged versions, but as you can see the prices, you know, are quite ridiculous. Um, so if we look at one to twenty dollar filter, um, just to see whether there's anything. That comes in rigged, so you may want to buy one, save you a lot of bother. Um, because at the minute, with the models that I've downloaded, we're going to need to, uh, so that's 1995. So at the minute, the ones that I've downloaded will need to be rigged and then animated, which I've currently got Alex looking at. So, Alex, the animator, so I'll make sure that um, you've got you've both got his emails if you need anything looking at from an animation perspective. Uh, so I just downloaded those assets. Uh, I've made a, a very specific folder with the assets in for this project, um, which I'll share this with both of you. The project. Um, so again, we just uh, you need to. It's really a case of making sure you have uh, a decent naming convention. Otherwise, you'll you'll lose everything really quickly. So always make sure that you clearly label everything. Otherwise, you will confuse yourself very rapidly. Okay, so we've got. Um, uh, I'm just deleting out the actual zip files now we've unzipped it. Um, so I'm just going to open Maya. So I'm just going to take this into Maya. So this is really where you'd be doing your rigging. Um, so this, as I say, this is what Alex is looking at. So uh, again, I, I don't think it's really within your remit to have to rig your models but here's just a quick uh, I'm just showing you the quick pipeline and workflow of how to do it if you are feeling adventurous uh, okay so it always does this get stuck on this pop-up for about an hour so just close that down okay um, so import because it's a .obj file. Uh, so if you are downloading from Turbo Squid or such like, you want to make sure that it's compatible file format. Usually .obj or .fbx are fine. So let's just open this. Um, so it's coming at the wrong orientation. It's coming rotated 90 degrees, but that's easily fixed. Obviously, you just rotate it 90 degrees the other way. Uh, so if we go up to the I'm just going to object mode. So the topology is nice, it's nicely uh, modelled. Um, so if we just turn that on, that's your texturing. So we can see that it's nicely textured. So it's a good model, um, and it's a good model uh, that you can uh, rig um, and animate. So something which you may want to look into, but that's a big and uh, complex process. Um, so we should be able to help you with that, and by we, I mean Alex. Um, Okay, so uh, if you look on your projects and your library section uh, of your Unreal Launcher, down at the bottom, um, this is where you basically uh, you add uh, any packages that you've purchased. So I have purchased the Ocean Floor. Um, so just another example here. So the water planes, I don't know whether you're going to need that, Anna, uh, with regards for the top surface of your water, but I think the ocean planes contains that anyway. So 
whenever you come back out of the specific window it takes you back to the marketplace because it's trying to sell you things which is a bit naughty um, so really it's just a case of you just got to add the project and make sure it's the correct version of Unity, uh, sorry, Unreal. So this is the uh, underwater project, this is the demo map and this is the, where we bought it off the uh, marketplace. Um, so this is a demo scene, you can basically just you can use that as a template and just cut out all the cameras uh, which are, and the animations which are causing this demonstration um, and then you can use that as a base this is kind of the way that I tend to do it I tend to just tear everything out of a demonstration scene this is another scene called overview um, so this gives you all the elements of the main scene uh, just laid out nice and neatly on on the uh, on a plane so you can see everything uh, and you can use that and just copy and paste that into your own scene or your own map. So if you look down the bottom left, Joyful Killer, I've put all the, um, I've put, uh, uh, I'm just going to save this map as a test scene, so I'll give you both this project. So if you go to Joyful Killer Maps, again, uh, this is a naming convention, so we clearly know where everything is. So we've got a test map there, and what I'm now going to do is, um, I'm going to just drag in the turtle. So I made a folder called Meshes in Joyful Killer. So make sure it's always laid out clearly. I can't stress that enough. Uh, otherwise, you'll give yourself a nightmare. So I go back to the folder I downloaded them to. Uh, and then we just drag in the, I don't think it lets you drag in the dot material, dot MTL. You just need to drag in the dot OBJ and the dot JPEG. And then it will find the uh, the mapping, the UV mapping, uh, as in it knows where to put the texture. So it's just come up with a requester underneath there. So that's all fine. Uh, yeah, it's all fine. Yep, yeah. hasn't got a skeleton. Import all. Okay, so let's just brought that in. So if we just we can just drag that straight in. It's as easy as that. Usually it comes in at the wrong scale. Uh, so usually you want to multiply it by ten. I could be wrong. That might be the right scale. That's certainly not the right scale. It's not as big as a World War Two plane, but certainly it's easy to see at that scale. So if you look at how shiny it is, what I want to do is I'm just going to double click on the texture down here. This is just a bit more complex. This is not necessary for you to know this. It's just to give you an idea of what you can do. So this is just basically me adjusting the material that is on the turtle, which is too shiny at the current time. So what I'll do is um, I will just add, uh, this is a visual scripting. Uh, so I'll just add a constant. Uh, and what I, the thing that adjusts the shininess is the roughness. So if we put it up to one, it's fully matte. Um, right, so I'm just looking through this very quickly. So you like, you can refer to this again later, but you don't need to know this. This is just how to adjust materials. But if we go back now, it's just recalculating the material, and now it's kind of flat lit and matte. Um, turtles aren't by their nature flat lit and matte. So we'll just take that halfway between full shiny and halfway shiny, and then we will apply that. Uh, and then we can go back to the window and we have got a beautiful partially shiny turtle. Okay, so the next thing we probably want to do is uh, just for the purposes of checking out locomotion in your scene, you want to go to add new uh, and then it'll give you an option to add in. In this case, uh, I'm going to add in the first person, which I can't find there it is. Um, so I'm just adding in the first person controller, so it's giving you a controller which you can then start testing. Um, and see if it works within your headsets if you've got one. Um, so I just need to change the maps and mode. So what it'll it'll default to um, whatever the project's been set up by. Uh, basically, I'm just trying to reset Unreal so that it defaults to the first-person shooter mode. So what I need to do is to go into project settings. I'll just make it put drag it over there to make it easy to see maps and modes so I want to the editor startup map I want to make it the test map uh, and also the default map a test map that's the one I just made and just did that little arrow there um, default game mode make it first person the one we've just loaded in it automatically defaults to the first person character uh, 
then we just drag in a player start that's where the player is going to start the level if we press play uh, we now have a character we can just run around we obviously don't want a gun because uh, we're not going in there to shoot turtles so we can turn that off in a minute but so as I said the scale of the turtle is obviously ludicrous um, but you know you've now got uh, a see we can we can now kind of drop the first person character into the other underwater scene uh, so you have some form of um, locomotion so you know it's a good it's a it's a, it's a very simple and easy to use system for getting things moving quickly uh, so I'm just I've just gone into the first person uh, controller so don't get concerned about this being complex all I'm doing is I'm just going to the first person controller which is just a pair of arms with the camera and I'm just going to turn off the um, the arms and also turn off the gun because we don't want a gun but um, yeah so that's really it compile that and then if we go back in and play the game uh, we can now run about without a horrible gun in the game okay so uh, yeah so this is really just a, a kind of overview and I'll give you this project so you can have a fiddle with it and do your own things okay thanks